Hello friends, this just arrived. My dirty electricity filters. I have wanted to get these bad boys for several years, but they're kind of expensive and I didn't know if it was gonna be worth it. We're gonna try them out. Fresh in the package. This is out of my comfort zone. I don't know a lot about dirty electricity. I have never tested my electrical outlets before, but a couple years ago when we renovated our house here, our friend who's a master electrician told me these little outlets give off a crazy amount of dirty electricity, more than your main power outlet. What's that thing called? <gasps> your circuit thing where all the electrical switches are. Awesome. Yeah, this video is out of my comfort zone. Anyway, he used the proper technical terms, but he told me the main circuit in your house is properly protected with a metal panel. These are not. So we sleep by these. Whoops. Who tells you? No one tells you. Ben Greenfield tells you. Love this guy. Excellent book here in his Boundless book. He just touches on it briefly, some of the stuff he's done in his house. Um, EMF, like the whole Wi-Fi thing. That's a whole different jam. EMI. Um, we're looking at millivats. And yes, I just learned that term. So supposedly, as per these electrician dudes I was watching on YouTube, 25 MV is this like wonderful, wonderful ideal place to be in. But we're gonna start with testing the wire. So this will just show you if there's, um, if the outlet itself is wired properly. Is it open, neutral, hot, hot reverse? So if your electrician or your husband wired something wrong or wife, whatever, whoever did it, it'll show up. So first of all, it's just telling me there's two orange lights. This is properly wired. Next, this is the Green Wave Broadband EMI meter. Recommended dirty electricity levels. Ideal readings should be below 25 MV on all circuits. Readings above 50 MV are also undesirable and should be reduced. So, <clears throat> nice, let's radiate everybody's bodies and brains all night while they're sleeping. Ah! Okay, so that's kind of what we're rocking at. Whoops. Let's see how these filters do. I got three rooms worth, so that's 16 filters. It came from the States, we had to pay duty, oh my gosh. So I was like, go big or go home. <laughs> 16 of them. Let's see what it does. Have it in the wall. Zip. So it looks like it's come down significantly, but it's still high. It said under 50 is what we're going for. So, hmm. I don't know how to troubleshoot that. It looks like the filter is working. What if I put in another filter? I don't know. Are you supposed to cover both the holes? I don't know. I can't. Hmm. 50 to 60 hertz. I wonder if it makes a difference if I put it in the upper one. Still 82, 83, so it came down a lot, but I have to figure out how to get it below 50. So there you have it. The mystery of the EMI continues. I feel better, it's better, but I still need it to get to 25. And I've seen people online use these filters and get it to below 50, so I don't know what's going on with our electrical outlets. But you know what's so ironic? Nobody tells you about this kind of stuff. And when our buddy was wiring our house, not the one who told me about the outlets, but another electrician buddy, he said, do you want more outlets? The more outlets, the better to plug stuff in. And I'm like, yeah, put all the outlets in. Oh my gosh. No, we should have one outlet for the whole house. Should probably just move to a yurt in the middle of the forest. And then I wouldn't even need to spend money on EMI business. But anyway, there's some green wave. It's doing something. I have to figure out how to get it to be even more efficient, but um, best of luck.